Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Holly and guess what guys? I just signed up to my first ever marathon. I am so freaking nervous, but first of all, I'm really happy that I even got a spot in the marathon. Look, here it is, the Gold Coast Marathon. You probably can't even see it on the screen, but it's going to be on the 7th of July, so I've still got quite a few months to train. And yeah, I wanna take, oh, hey Nova. <laughs> he always gets in my videos. Everyone say hi. He's gonna help me train too. Um, okay, I need to push my dog away. <laughs> I'm gonna take you guys through a little bit of my training and what it's gonna be like to get there and the journey that I'm gonna go on. I'm also gonna take you guys on a long run with me this week. I don't know how far I'm gonna go, but I'm gonna give you guys like some of my best running tips. What do you think, Nova? Yeah, good? Okay, great. So guys, please enjoy the journey and um, like, subscribe, click the little bell, do all the things and I hope you enjoy. She's this, she's that, she's a flirt. All right, guys, we are en route to a uh, long run of the week. It is Saturday. I'm not going to lie. I'm not feeling it today. I'm so tired. Thinking of doing some sort of trail run today. Got Nova in the back, so we're going to run together. Um, yeah, I really need a stretch. I feel sore as. All right, guys, we are out here. We are going to go for a long run today. Nova, you're all tangled. <laughs> I'm bringing along my dog with me. Let's see how this goes. He's um, not always the best behaved. My gosh, okay, gonna do a little stretchy stretch before we get into our run today. Do some sweeps. Some of these stretches, I don't even know what they accomplish, but I guess they help. Not gonna lie, I don't always stretch before I go for a run, but I absolutely should. Let's do some hops, get the calves all sorted. What do you think, nerves? Sounds good. Hopefully nerves not gonna be too much of a terror today. We're going on a little bit of a trail-ish run today but it's good because there's not going to be many people there. So it should be nice and easy breezy. And you know, he won't get too distracted by dogs. <laughs> no, stop. Oh, he's going to get so dirty today. I just know it. <laughs> so I'm going to give you guys some of my best running tips. So something that I see people do wrong all the time and also people that just start out running and beginners is they do not run slow enough. Guys, the key to doing runs, long runs, and getting your distance up is go slow. It's gonna feel like when you first start running, it's almost gonna feel like walking speed. It is going to feel that slow. It's gonna be so demotivating. And also, we're all slaves to our Strava and things like that. And we're always so motivated by pace and thinking we're going fast. And we kind of get this idea of a pace in our heads. That's just unrealistic. And also, if you want to build up your aerobic base and get faster and run for longer, the key is to go slow and watch your heart rate. Best in some good running shoes. I've got myself some sockety running shoes. I'll put a little photo and link of the shoes that I've got. They're amazing, they're soft, they give me good cushion. The worst mistake you can make is running in bad running shoes. I remember I've ran in bad running shoes before and got shin splits. Not good, not good for a runner. You want to prevent injury. Another tip for your running is I highly recommend doing some weight training. Even if you just do a little bit that's kind of based around your running, that way you will prevent injury for these long runs. Look, here's the water. So this is a little crossing that me and Josh do quite often. Last time we tried to get Nova across here, it took us, no joke, 45 minutes. He's so afraid of the water. Like, why can't you be a water pup? No? He looks excited, but trust me, he's not. Onwards. I hope there are no snakes in here. Ah! Listen to a podcast. If you listen to a podcast, it keeps your mind stimulated. But also, it's going to keep you running slow enough. You're probably going to be able to hear your breathing and kind of get a rhythm going with your breathing rather than just using music all the time. Plus, I think when marathon training, it's pretty important to get used to not being as stimulated as we usually are. We are at 5.6 Ks, feeling good, sitting pretty. I reckon we'll do 14 today. See how we go with that. How gorgeous is this? Imagine if like Slender Man was in there. Oh God. See, the thing is these forests are beautiful, but they're kind of creepy. Like honestly, the grudge or the ring, Samara from the ring could be in there. You know what I mean? All right, we are almost 7Ks in. I'm about to go to the halfway point, then turn around. Um, 
Look, my calves and ankles are actually a bit sore. That's the thing about trail running and running on rocks is you need a lot of stabilization, which is another reason why it's really good to cross train and do some gym work just to prevent some injury and strengthen the legs and the calves. Yeah, ankles are really working on this run. Look how beautiful. All right. <laughs> Go Norse. Thirteen k's in. Not gonna lie, kind of hurting. Woo! I just dropped my camera. Haven't vlogged for the past few kilometers because I'm not gonna lie, I'm in pain. But we're almost done. Said I was gonna do 14. Done it. I thought today wasn't gonna be my day because I wasn't feeling it. But that's the reality. Sometimes you're sore, you're tired. You don't want to go. And those turn out to be your best run. Thirsty boy. 14 k's done. She tired. Man, that is 14Ks done. Oh, man. That was definitely rough towards the end. It was really hard to vlog towards the end because I was a little bit sore. I think also the fact that it was a little bit like a trail run definitely hit different. Um, yeah, I started to get sore from about 10, 11Ks. And then the rest, I really wish I brought some sort of gels or energy or salt or something to keep me going. I think I'll start doing that with my longer, longer runs. But yeah, I think this marathon might be possible. But the thing is, it's funny how your brain and your mind start going to like dark places. Like you really just, yeah, start thinking some negative thoughts like, oh, I don't want to keep going. And what if I just stopped and walked for a second or think about this, this is only 14 Ks. Imagine doing this a few more times and that's a marathon. Like. Yeah, mentally, I think a marathon's got to be tough to get through because it's so long to just be running, to just be going, and all you want to do is stop, lay down, and have a cold drink. So, yeah, I just mostly wonder how I'm going to get through it mentally. Physically, I don't think I'm a worry. Like, my respiratory feels good. I think my body can get through it, but mentally, how does one get through, like, four hours of running? Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you liked the content today, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, press the bell, tell all your friends. What do you think, Bob? Yeah, sounds good. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have the best day ever. And let me know if you're training for a marathon or doing any runs yourself. I would love to hear about it and hear how your journey is going. And if you have any tips for me, I am all ears as well.